What's up, YouTube fam, friends, haters, <laughs> whatever you may call yourself to me. It's a little early. It's 8.44 in the morning. I've been up since 5.45 already. But I got something that I need to speak to y'all about. Something happened to me yesterday. And I'm bothered by it. So... I was doing DoorDash yesterday in Peachtree City. So I'm 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 very appalled because Peachtree City has never done me wrong until yesterday. So back in the day I used to work at Target in Peachtree City and I used to do the Starbucks and Target and then I switched to the pricing team. So back then my son was four and five years old back then so a lot of the customers used to invite me to their neighborhoods for the halloween and all of that and give us a ride on the golf cart park my car and just ride with them and trick-or-treat all night so mind you that was 2006 i've been in atlanta since 2005 i've never had a problem with peace tree city until yesterday so i went to go pick up a doordash at McAllister in uh peace tree city and for you bougie helpers if i'm pronouncing it wrong then hell you know what i'm talking about okay it's a restaurant in peace tree city so i go in there it's a black guy standing up a lady at the register Another white lady that's taking her, well, placing her order at the register. And then me behind the black guy. So when I walked in, nobody said, welcome to McAllister, like they normally would say. Because um, I've been there before plenty of times picking up. So anyway, the black guy, I don't know what was going on with him because he was looking at his phone and he kept two-stepping and bobbing and weaving. I don't know if he was listening to music, he had anxiety or he had to pee. Hell, I got anxiety, but I could stand still. So I don't know what, what was going on with him. But he wasn't paying attention to the fact that we were being overlooked. So when the lady finished placing her order, she stepped away. The black guy walked up and he was starting to place his order the lady said one moment and walked away left him standing there went to the lobby and then she came back and then she said we'll be with you all in a moment then she started taking his order so me i'm picking up a doordash why am i in line so i beeline up to the middle and i tell the little young girl i said hey is that mr so-and-so order sitting right there in the window right there she looked back at me she looked at the order she said, yeah. I said, okay, so is it not done? It's not ready? She was like, it's ready. You going to give it to me? She going to say, no, I have to um pack up the other orders that were before his first, before I can get that one. So that's how we do. When I finish packing up the other orders, then I can pack up his and give it to you. What you say, Karen? Because I'm trying to figure out why the hell am I standing here waiting on a DoorDash order that's clearly already ready, sitting right there in your window, and I'm looking at it, and you have confirmed that's the man order I came to pick up. So why am I still standing here? Doesn't DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, all of them got priority when it comes to these restaurants because they own a schedule? These people already paid for their damn food. So I'm confused. What is it? You don't like my skin tone? You don't like my locks? What was it? Because I'm confused. It ain't even my damn food. So I'm on the phone with my white homeboy and he listening to everything and he like, that's fucked up. And I'm like, right. Like, what, what's, what's the problem? And he was like, sounds like racism to me. I said, that's what it sounds like to me, too. Ain't even my food. So, the other Karen manager decided she wanted to jump in her two cents. So, I'm talking to my friend on the phone, and she decided that she wanted to have a piece of our conversation. So, she comes over to me and stands in front of me and say, that's not how we do it here. 
we pack the orders as in order of receipt how they were placed. It doesn't matter if it's DoorDash or Grubhub or anything. I said, okay, that's fine. I already let them know on the app what's going on. I let DoorDash know and I'm gonna let the customer know too. You can, that's fine. Bitch, I know I can, it's my phone. Who asked you? Why, 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 why? So anyway, it's a white couple behind me. So I'm talking to them and I'm like, you see this the lady? Like, yeah. I was like, ain't that crazy? She was like, I said, now, if you order your food on DoorDash or whatever, and it gives you a time that your food is supposed to be there, when you want your food on time at the time that it says, she said, yeah, that's, that's how it works. I said, oh, okay. So then the little heifer going to come up and say, would you like a drink tray? I looked at her. I said, it's two drinks, please. So she put the drinks in the drink tray, slid them over to me. The other girl finally handed me the bag with the people food been sitting there getting cold. She going to say, have a blessed day. <laughs> I have a blessed day every day. You need to take your own advice. Okay. Racism. Why? Why? We have so much other stuff to worry about. Why racism got to be on the list too? Man, we so past that. What is the problem, people? Why? I just keep saying why. Why? I waited till this morning to do this video because I was kind of pissed yesterday. Because those Karens almost got to me. So I figured, let me calm down, sleep on it, wake up, and then do this video. Because, boy, I tell you. But while we on the topic, if any of y'all know a racial discrimination attorney and retaliation attorney in the workforce, please drop their name and their contact. Like, I need an attorney. I have, what, 60 more days to find an attorney from my last employer, which is why I stepped out, resigned, and became an independent contractor because I was being racially discriminated against at a work-from-home job <laughs> that I did for five years. But yeah, I'm serious. I do need y'all help. I need a, a an attorney that does racial discrimination and retaliation cases. I had 90 days from the EEOC to find an attorney and for 30 days now, I've been looking. I don't know if it's the name of the company that they're afraid of or they just don't want to help me get my money. Because if the EEOC released it as a right to sue, you already know it's a good case. Now, what's the problem? Racism. If you know a good criminal defense attorney, holler at your sister because I need one of them too. Not for me personally, but I need one. I don't want to hear no Joe Blow who attorney. I need a real attorney. Both of those requests are serious. So if you know somebody, you heard of somebody, you use them, you know that they work good, please drop their name, office number in the comments. But I swear, racism in Peachtree City, <laughs> I've not experienced it 16 years I've been coming out here until yesterday so i did tell the customer what happened and what the lady said and the first thing the customer said there's no other way to explain that that's racism and this lady was white she's ex-military and she said she gonna put them on blast she was like i'm gonna blast their ass i said well i appreciate you thank you i mean come on mick allister in peachtree city i hope your ceo see this because that was reckless uncalled for unnecessary Karen then you got the little girl following the same thing you doing and how you acting I don't know how old I look but for the record I am 41 years old with a 21 year old son people talk to you sideways when they think you just young and dumb i'm not young and dumb i'm very experienced i was a fraud investigator for five years and a supervisor i'm very intelligent got education in my background baby play with it 
But I just wanted to talk to y'all about the racism that I faced yesterday. I had a witness on the phone, heard everything. So that customer also says she will not order from them anymore. Remember, if you know a criminal defense attorney, that's reasonable. And you got a racial discrimination and retaliation attorney for the workforce. Please drop their name, their office number. Thank you. Get the bag.